Previously on. We've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. He's hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Really, V? Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Hey, V. I heard some soldier just open fire on pedestrians at the pier. If you can swing it, I want him stopped but not killed. Then I'll send the right people for him. More details are on the way. And V, good luck. Damn, that is crazy. It's like I just finished helping River and now I got another job possibly? And a lot of text messages from Regina as well. Um, do I want to do said job, however? Mm, probably not. Let me just double check to see... Damn, I am definitely a wanted woman, both in this game and in real life. So, let me just take a look at what jobs I can do. Bear with me here. Okay, so I know Cyberpunk 2077 just did their 1.5 patch on the game. Adding in new content, new clothing, new Easter eggs to find. So, being that they did announce they fixed some bugs, I'm going to test out that theory. So that's right, I'm going to attempt to do the These Boots Are Made For Walking quest just to see if I'm able to get to interact with my old car from the beginning of the game. Wow, that's actually pretty smooth the way it just stopped. So far, so good. I'm actually feeling hopeful, but I'm not going to be too hopeful yet. So, let's drive. Okay, here we are. And holy shit, I see a car. Did they actually fix this? I love how I just drove into the trash bags and I just stopped but yeah it seems like holy shit get out my car is actually here holy cow I've been trying to complete this specific quest for how many episodes now oh my god this this is a beautiful day it's warm Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil, plugs. Mm, and somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? <laughs> New but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Okay, so whoever's been taking care of my car, they've been replacing them with new and used parts from around this big old junkyard so that's pretty cool someone cleaned the cooling fan and filled up the brake fluid except huh, with water all right seen enough hey what the hands off my car hands off my car this, no no it's my car no why would you leave it rusting in a yard because it broke down, and I... And you abandoned it, and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. This last week, I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heat running. Should have started with a step motor, would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy, starts sticking. We clear the carbon deposits, and... It starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, uh, see? It takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Which means this is my car. owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. 
seem desperate. Why do you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on, try me. Tell me. Yeah, tell, tell me. you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum! I don't want to live here. Not now. Huh, that's crazy. Had enough of this combo. You ghost now. I told you clearly that. Need me to pull heat on you? Really want that? Step away from the car. Do it now. Fuck you! Fuck okay. you sideways, you cunt! Thanks yeah. for the fixes. Clever girl. And she's just standing there still, but okay, now she's walking. Yeah, thanks for fixing my car. Yeah. Oh well. Damn. Ah, <sighs> like clockwork. Hate to sound like your conscience would never want that job. But dick move V. Not a nomad. No way you can understand. It's as if somebody clapped your guitar. Mm-hmm. Somebody for who was the last chance for a better life? Enjoy your fucking ride, V. Oh, come on, bro. I don't really care. I really don't. And besides... Oh, she's right there. Hmm. What if... Am I... I wonder if I'm able to talk to her after all that. Let me see. No? I'm not able to, actually. It seems like she's just minding her business. Oh well. My car. Like, my car. Alright, so let me double check to see what other... Oops. I nearly start crashing at. Beautiful. Let me double check to see what other... Jobs I can do. Okay, so I know Rogue called me earlier, which, just so you know, you are able to decline calls, which is awesome. Because I know sometimes when I'm in the middle of a mission, or if I'm actually talking to someone, I get calls right in the middle of the dialogue, and that was pretty annoying. So I'm pretty glad that CD Project Red decided to do that change. So let me go and let me see here let me call rogue actually let me open up the message first see what she says v the name e bunky remember got to the bottom of it call me sure call you soon ha huh, i remember when johnny said call you soon only took him 50 years to get back to me. Oh, come on, Rogue. Really? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm definitely going to call right now. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. So why are these docks called Ebunike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So you found Grayson? You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Perfect, perfect. We'll finally be able to jump Smasher. So, let me see if I'm able to get out first. Perfect. Alright. And I love this. Thank you, Cyberpunk, for finally fixing this quest. Like, it was a pain that I wasn't able to do this for the past couple episodes. And now, I just did all that with ease. So, next up, meeting Rogue at the Afterlife. Hey, Judy, what's up? V. Can you come over, Stat? Something happened? Yeah. Just come. Shh. 
Whoa, what's going on? Why did it pop? Wait, why did it freeze all of a sudden? Okay, that's uh. That is pretty weird. It's like as soon as I got off the phone with Judy, the game froze for a good couple seconds. I was afraid that it was gonna crash and then I would just start all over again. But, whew, that scared me a bit. Alright, so let me go and change my GPS to Judy's house because something really happened. And I can feel it. Alright, so I'm heading over to Judy's house right now, so let's skedaddle. Alright, I am finally at Judy's house. Let me just park here. Um, in terms of the vehicle, it's actually a lot more smoother, a lot more better to drive. And when it stops, it actually stops. It doesn't lag in any way, shape, or form. Okay, you're dead staring at the wall. Are you okay? Okay. But anyways. Oh my god, I really hope... I really hope it's not what I think it is. Because it's been a while since I've talked to Judy. And it's been a while since I've seen Evelyn. So... Okay. In the bathroom. Oh fuck. Oh no. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. Stop talking. I was I was only gone an hour. You checked your pulse? V She's gone. How did this happen? I don't know. I told you. Evie was lying in bed like always. When I went out. And I got back to... Fuck. Oh, no. If I would just known, I'd have... Honey, you could have not known, like... Don't blame yourself. It won't solve anything. I should have sensed something. That it was off. <laughs> Stop. Couldn't watch her 24-7. She'd made up her mind. Would have found a way. Always. You, you checked your pulse? V She's gone. Gotta do something with her. Don't Maybe. want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Okay. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. <sighs> Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. Least we could do is treat her with some dignity. All right, fine. Oh my God, Evelyn. Yeah, Damn, I, I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow? No! Today! What part of dead don't you understand? Oh my god, are you kidding me? No, they want to pick up the body tomorrow? She was not tomorrow? pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now Judy. will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Judy! Judy. Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. Oh my god. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? That's crazy. Oh, Lord. Welcome to Night City. 
where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. I am so sorry, Judy. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. <sighs> Bum a cig. Didn't know you smoked. <sighs> Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. I don't I don't need anyways. That was her smoke case. Oh wanna hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kinda glad it's you that has it, actually. I am so sorry for your loss, Judy. This whole thing sucks. Fuck, Evie. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. Now what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Okay. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her, and had his way with her. The things he did. Damn. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. Why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, Escaping into the past, so as not to live in the present. That makes sense. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But, uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure you don't need anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. I'm serious. If you need anything, Judy, please leave. Please let me know, and don't do anything stupid, you hear me? Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. You know, dealing with this situation is never, never easy at all. Never, never really easy.
You know, I contemplated on doing it a couple of times throughout my life. And honestly, I'm glad it didn't went through. If I did carried on my plan, I would I would have been gone. Let me see. I would have been gone 13 years ago if my plan were to have succeeded. But then again, I'm just pretty happy that that was one of my best failures in life. Alright, so I see that Lizzie Wizzy texted me. Let me see what she wants. Our little adventure was actually very inspirational. I put out my first BD today. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> what? It'll be all over the airwaves. Keep an eye out. Huh. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. What did Lizzie Lizzie get into, honestly? Alright, let me get my car. And, well, actually, I'm in the mood to drive the bike. It's pretty nice, sunny out. Why not? And not too bad with the bike animation. Alright, let me see what jobs I can do. Hold on. Okay, so I'm still going to meet Rogue at the afterlife, so let's go. Okay, I am right here at this point. Let me just get off. Huh. You know, even though everything is actually a little bit smoother now, I still want that nice immersion of having a whole bunch of people walking up and down the street. But you know what? Baby steps. That's all that matters. Just little baby steps. Look who we have. What's good? I am back. Oh, Claire. Awkward. Oh, and she saw me. Damn. I wonder if she's still mad at the fact that I refused to actually help her kill the guy. Let me see if she'll talk to me. All right, let me leave her alone. <laughs> That's something to her too. Again, the bitch. Ah, minor details that V. Crispin Wayland. He's helping us. That's good. A V. I hear your own thing, Smasher. Ready? We'll talk on the way. Watch out! Might just answer you. Best focus on the kid. Gonna be joining us? Nah, I already did my part. Don't tell me you don't want to see Smasher dead. Michelle would, but not so close. Nice. The bastard has a bad habit of coming back from the dead. He what? Mm -hmm. True bastards somehow always find a way. What the we hell? Going. Let's go. Good luck. Oh my god. Yeah, she hates. Oh my god, she's giving me the dirtiest look ever. Definitely reminds me of, you know, a couple of people in my present Maybe. line. Maybe. Don't know. Don't wait up. That is a little bit mad at me, but you know what? Things happen. How did Wayland help you exactly? He made sure we'll find Grayson at home when we start by. So we know where to look for him. Okay, that was an awkward way of climbing up the stairs. 
All right, Rogue. Let's see here. Oh, hold on. I did... Let me see. Wow. Got you a little something. Get the hell out of here! Hey, yo, I got the jacket! This Johnny's jacket? Ooh, with me wearing it, sure you won't confuse us? Quite sure. Thanks. A replica. Made to order. Real jacket must have disintegrated into dust years ago. Thanks. Look her. Jump in. Yo, this is a nice car. Oh, giant. Finally looking half decent. Shut up. Hey, yo, this is a nice ass car, Rogue. What Johnny say about me? No, you two talk all the time. Said you're the best. Always were. The best? <laughs> Too bad that comes at a price. Sure you're up for this. What? You getting cold feet? Okay, no. so... just... Don't want to see Johnny haze you. Adam Smasher's his obsession. Not yours. <laughs> Think so? Just trying to play fair. Alright, so I love how with the patches I found another glitch. Which I'm surprised they didn't really look into fixing it. Where sometimes the character would talk but their mouth doesn't move. So this is a little annoying. A little weird you didn't run into Smasher before now. Came up in conversation time to time. But I uh, never tried to track him down. Listen, V. The fact that Johnny's back changes things, okay? Okay, okay sure. Damn. Believe me, I'd know. Wow, I love the details of my jeans. Like, I can tell these are legit jeans. That's perfect. And Rogue? Is it me, or do you see, like, a little bit of a shadow on her face? Because I see it. Damn, she just went through those cars. That's insane. We'll get back to that, I guess. Back to what? What are you talking about? Alright, so as far as the update's concerned, I mean... Yes, they fixed major issues, and I understand they can't fix everything all at once. It's definitely going to need a couple more updates to fully make sure this game is up and running properly. Other than that, I say they did a decent job. Still a lot more to fix in terms of the small details, but other than that, I'm actually pretty appreciative of what CD Projekt Red did. All right, so... Okay, here's as far as we go. Sweet. Might be our lucky day. Drop Grayson and Smasher in one go. Fuck has gotta be around here somewhere. Right. So what's our plan? Wayland saw Grayson somewhere on the docks. He was with somebody. Smasher. So I hope. Gotta get to the Maelstrom data term first. Should be some info on Smasher there. Main stash house. Data term's there. Know where their data term is? How, exactly? Set up the by myself. Damn. Athena D3, external database. Didn't know you worked for Maelstrom. Work for anybody, long as it's on my terms. See, I, like I that. missed a lot these last 50 years. Okay, we can start. Ready? Yeah. Too many rats around. Better wait till a little darkness creeps in. And in the meantime, we do what? Wait and watch. Okay. Good as it's gonna get. 
Right. Waited all this time. Maelstrom's got the docks covered, and you'll cover me. Come on, let's go. She's right. tense. Cover yeah. her just in case. Got you. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.